Hello YouTube, this is um, How to Get Ice Cream Sandwich on the HTC Inspire 4G. You can also do this to the HTC Desire HD, the HTC Desire Z, and the HT Desire S. So, I came straight from my Sense 3.0 thing. And, uh, you're going to need to be rooted with Clockwork, mo Clockwork Mods, ROM Manager, once it loads up, alright, so once it's done loading, you can type in your information if you wish, click no thanks, and if this is your first time coming or downloading ROM Manager, you need to flash it. Once you click that, it'll ask you if you have an HTC Expire, just click Desire and um, hit Reboot into Recovery. Hit Allow and it'll reboot. Okay. Now then, it is rebooting into the then let me see. Yes, if I turn off the lights, it may help someone. So you want to do a white factory reset. And hit OK and wipe all the information off the entire phone. So if you do have any important pictures, information, anything at all, um, Back it up before you do this. Okay. Now then, if you wish, you can wipe the cache, which um, I always do like to do this. And now then, install zip, choose it, and there it is, ice cream sandwich, um, beat mod. I love almost all of the um, ice cream sandwich or even beat mods all together. Um, they have um, the sense. Um, the Sense Flyer Sense, which I love, I have it installed on my Samsung Galaxy Tab, but it works wonderful and flawlessly. So if you have a Galaxy Tab, I would really suggest you to look into that, if you like the HTC look. Um, I'll see about doing a video on that for y'all to see, and um, yeah. And as you can see, this is a little bit faster than installing um, since 3.0. Because I don't know why, but it is a little bit, very slightly. And um, right off the bat, if you do end up doing this, the camera is not working at this point in time. And uh, this is version beta 6.2. There may be a new beta by the time I have this up that may have the camera fixed. I do not know at this one time. So, I'll click Reboot System. It's rebooting the system, of course. As you can see, it has the wonderful eight or wonderful ice cream sandwich boot logo, boot up screen, the beautiful boot screen. This runs wonderfully fast and very 
usable if you want to use this for your everyday um, bra. If you don't take pictures, then I would fully recommend you to get this. The one thing is, on mine, I cannot get it to connect to Wi-Fi. So, but if you're okay with that, then yeah, it's a wonderful ROM. Totally get it. Anyways, as you can see, it's booting up, booting up, booting up, booting up, and it kind of, and um, it's very good. It's pure ice cream sandwich, so no custom skins, no bloatware, as I like to call it. And it works pretty much flawlessly. And there we go, it's close to finally being finished. So you can get into your brand new ice cream sandwich OS or Android OS. Nothing, just hit use by default. Wait a second, because I guess it's still booted. What's your active? This is usual, and just hit OK. Hit um, use by default and set up wizard. And there we go. See, so just hit English United States. If you leave, live anywhere else, look through here and you'll find it. Hit next. I'll just hit not now. Next. Now then. Here we go, and right now it'll be a little laggy, like right here. But as you can see, what is going on with this? It's normally super fast and very fluid. So, as you can see, you press and hold. You can choose live wallpaper. You can scroll down and get the side beam. Thing like ice cream sandwich. Anyways, as you can see, oh, because the stupid tutorial thing still coming up. Anyways, as you can see, it's very fast, very fluid. You press and hold, you check it down there, bring it into there, and there's your folder. And it'll click, drag it out, and it works very well. No, I just said the camera doesn't work, so <laughs> I'm very sorry about this. That. Now then, the phone dialer, everything works very well, and it's very fluid. See, so this is based off CyanogenMod 9. As you can see, as I'm moving around here, it's very snappy. The Bluetooth works very fine. How cool like, as you can see, the Bluetooth is on. But Wi-Fi, you do not have luck with. So, if you do end up getting it to work, please tell me, because that will be awesome to know. Hit the home button. And if you happen to like the stu the virtual buttons, you can go into your settings, go down to, I think it's display maybe? Yeah, right there, see? It requires a reboot, so let's reboot it. So as here's the lock screen. And let's reboot. And okay, so let's reboot. And I guess this will be time for you to really see a normal reboot time. And really how fast it kind of boots up for something that was written for a dual core phone running on 
a Snapdragon processor with 756 megs of RAM. As you can see, it's very fast, and as soon as you boot up, see it does this for the first time, and then there are your buttons at the bottom. No recent apps, of course, and there's your buttons at the bottom. If you really want them there, just to show off. Um, I do not have a game here to kind of show you on. How games look, but overall it runs fairly well. So, you can, so, yeah, I don't know what else to pretty much tell you besides it works very well. Uh, well, I guess I can show you a resizable widget. What are those two dots there for? Oh, alright. <laughs> so, you can click hold on bookmarks. Drag them over to here. You see, you can resize them with the resizable widgets. There you go. It runs very well and overall, and it's more than usable for your everyday ROM. And you do not need these for normal use. Anyways, you can also install this on your Kindle Fire too. So. <laughs> If you wish to do that and get rid of the stupid Kindle Fire look and feel, then there we go. See? Alright, so please rate, comment, and subscribe, and tell me if you like this or use it every day. And um, if you didn't catch my other videos, I'll put um, a link in the description of the video. Thank you, and... See you later.